Welcome back guys, Mr. Big Russ here, and today I'm going to bring you a game called The Long Dark, currently in an alpha, I believe it came out around the 20th of September, never heard of it before until today, we're currently in the Steam Summer Sale, it's Black Friday so everyone's going crazy, all having these fights over the, the TVs and the shops, I know over in England there's been a lot of fights recently and some dude got carried off in a stretcher last night because of Black Friday, so it sounds pretty crazy, but anyway, went on to the Steam Summer Sale, well Steam Summer Sale, I'm too used to the Steam Summer Sale, the Steam Black Friday sale, I guess, is going to be on for the next five days. And this game called here, The Long Dark, originally £15, currently now only like around £7 I picked it up for. Had a lot of good reviews. It's meant to be similar to The Forest. Not sure. Haven't played it. Haven't really looked at anything. I read a couple of reviews. It had a lot of positive reviews. Sounded cool. Well, you know, why not? Let's go yellow. Seven quid, you can't go wrong. I'm not sure how this is going to go, I'm not really sure the whole principle of the game, it's some survival type, and I don't believe there's zombies, I think it's actually like in the, fo you got to survive wolves and stuff, it's going to be interesting, it'd be nice to compare it to the forest because they're both an alpha to see how they've come along, the forest has been out a little bit longer than this, so we'll have to wait and see. Play the story of the bush pilot. Will, good old Will, as he struggles to survive, crashed in the wilderness in the aftermath of a mysterious Disaster. Sounds pretty scary. Season 1, Episode 1. I'm not too sure what I mean. Oh, it's not available. Oh, I see. It's not available in Alpha. There's me thinking, oh yeah, here we go. Alright, so we can actually choose between a male and a female. At the moment on the forest, you can only actually select a male. So, And there actually seems to be two, two different options. Mystery Lake or Coastal Highway. I quite like the idea of Coastal Highway. That sounds quite interesting. So... Some big ass storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? We're actually in Canada. How about that? Alright. I'm looking forward to this. This should be interesting to see how this actually plays out. Life is an error. Making an error, correcting process. And nature in making man's papers will grade him. Well, cheers, so I didn't even get to read of it. <laughs> Alright, so we have no in opening cinematic like the forest. As you can see, it looks straight away, it's early days. Yeah, we, we are an alpha, so we have to take that into consideration. The, the forest looks a lot more polished than this so far, but again, the, po the forest has been out for a couple months longer, so um, we'll have to wait and see. So we have some equipment here, we've got some jeans. Obviously, I think early days, the, the, the initial look at that menu, I don't really like what they've done there. I much prefer the forest. I'm going to be comparing it a lot to the forest, as the forest is the only kind of survival game like I've played like this. Being play well, other than DayZ, but I think DayZ is similar to the forest in some respects, but it is kind of a, it's a different game, to be honest. And this feels very similar, from what I can see, it feels very similar to the forest, so... Have a look, it seems, feels quite airy. Feel the breeze blowing against me. It seems to be like some little bunny over there. I'm not sure if we have any weapons. Let's have a look. We have a flare. We have a under plug. I think that's gonna be any good. Wood matches. Hmm. Alright, I'll just see if what other uh, see if it gives me an idea what other keys we actually have. If there's any important stuff that I might be missing out on. So we've got a strike match, holster, so we're gonna be able to get a gun at some point. Sounds pretty cool. Survival panel, that's what we want to see. Here we go. So we have our survival panel, we have equipment, log, repair, bedroll, start a fire, first aid. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually start a fire in this. We actually have our calories, uh, calories so it's quite interesting that we're going to have to keep that up together. We've survived for 19 minutes so far, I feel like an absolute bad ass. So I'm not sure, can I? I don't see, I don't think I have actually any abilities to attack yet. Hopefully we're going to be able to search this car, that would be pretty cool. We actually, if we could drive it, it'd be pretty badass. Alright, what we have here? We have some beef jerky. That'll come in handy. We'll take that, we might as well keep that. We have, seem to have some soda there as well. I don't think we can actually drive the vehicle. It would be pretty cool if... Uh, I, I don't know, at the same time, it would be, I don't think, I think it wouldn't require us tools. I don't think it would all be that good of an idea if you could actually drive it, because it would take away that whole survival sense to it. You'd just be driving around like a nutter. If anything, you want to be doing that, you'd be better off playing like um, DayZ. So what do we have here? Nothing really of any importance. So the graphic style, from what I can see at the moment, they seem to have gone for a, a very different route compared to the forest. The forest has quite... 
Oh, DayZ has the most realistic graphics out of all the sort of games like this that I have played. No, DayZ have got it down. And the forest graphics are very beautiful, but they are very sort of gamish. But this feels even more gamish because of the cartoon feel they've kind of gone for. Like when we are picking up that soda can then and the beef jerky. It feels very sort of cartoonish, I guess you could say. Which is not a bad thing, you know, it's just, it's just the style that the game was going down. It'd be interesting to see how this actually develops, so... Not really sure what I'm actually on the look for, out for at this moment in time. I, I don't know what the principle, I guess we have to survive. I, I, I'm not sure if there's any base building at the moment. We don't seem to actually have a weapon or anything, which kind of sucks. It'd be nice to think that I had a weapon, but... Let's have a look. Do we have uh, some tools? We got some wood matches. What is that? Low value and full stars? No, that's not. Another bedroll. We've got a bedroll there. No, doesn't see. No, we have n We have no weapons at this moment in time. I'm not sure what harvest actually means. We can start harvest. We're getting very cold, so we might have to start um, a fire. What I'd Sufficient materials to start uh, Need fuel. That's always good. Alright, let's move our way up here and see what we can find. I'm waiting for something. I I don't I don't think there are like zombies in this game. I have a feeling that it's like wolves and stuff. So it'd be interesting to see like we have to survive against bears and whatnot. Cool to see what it's actually about. I'm probably gonna. Thinking that, and then that in the end, some big ass zombies probably gonna like become be falling behind me this whole time, and I'm gonna shit myself. I feel quite lost already. <laughs> My dude's getting colder and colder as we go along. I'm very cold at this moment in time. My calories just seem to be dropping, so life doesn't seem to be too good. Probably maybe should have followed that road along instead of going and getting lost in the middle of this. Here's a tree. I'm now freezing, as it says in the bottom right -hand corner. That doesn't that doesn't sound very good now, does it? Oh, it's gone. Maybe we're not so cold anymore. Interesting. No, we seem to have found nothing whatsoever at this moment in time. Maybe I'm being I. I'm just really weary of something coming from behind me. Ah, oh, we have a little house. Finally, found something along our journey. I might just keep shelter here and stay here forever. So, like I said, I don't know what the principal. Oh, it did actually mention can't about a plane crash. Ooh, he just says we can't feel his feet. That doesn't sound very good now, does it? That's not a good thing. I'm very. Very. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to come behind me. I know how these games work, so. Something's gonna happen. Alright, we'll see what's inside. Going into the camp, we've got a little wolf walking around there, so we definitely see wolves. We're warmer in here, that's a good thing, I guess. I think I can hear some music. Sort of. Well, I think it's maybe just the air. Alright, I don't know if I have a um, estimated time. What's this? Reclaim wood. Oh, damn, look at what I've just done there. Making to collect the wood or something? You forged a tinder plug. Is that a good thing? I'm not sure. I wanted to try and find if. I wanted to see if we had like any kind of lighter or something that I could. Uh... We've got a flare, but I don't really want to waste my flare. Uh, just for the sake of. Just wanted to see if there's any way of lighting this place up to see if there's actually ins anything inside of here. Oh, there's a bed here. So we can one hour's rest, current time, current calories. Let's rest, see what happens. I don't know if this is a good idea. The thing is, the clock's starting to get to. It's going to be like three o'clock. Oh, it's going past three. The, the later it goes, it, that's generally going to mean that it's going to be a lot darker outside, which is not a good thing. They actually saved the game, so I don't know if we can respawn here after we die. Or I think once you die, you should be dead. But it'd be cool if we were to log out and actually put us back here. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if I like being in here or not. It's just so dark. I'd rather be outside, to be honest. Out and I'd rather be outdoors than in that cabin. Alright, so there didn't really seem to be anything in there. It was so dark as well. There's another cabin straight down ahead. So we'll go see what's down there, I guess. There seems to be a couple of cabins, actually. Alright, looks like we're actually getting somewhere now. 
So it looks like it's a big house. Good, good. Hopefully we can find some form of weapon. That make me feel a bit more uh, happier about life, maybe. But I'm very wary of the uh, whatever's about. There's something about. I don't know what yet, but I'm sure we're going to come across it, and it's going to be very scary. Let's put it that way. All right, let's have a look. What's behind? I just don't like the fact. I don't know if it's going to be so dark in here. I just don't like the fact of how dark it is. I really don't. I can't really see anything. Guess the windows are all frozen over because of how icy it is outside. It should be nice to try and find some stuff, but there doesn't seem to be anything behind. Unless I'm being a complete noob, but there doesn't seem to be anything in there. I know at one point I'm going to come out of one of these houses and there's going to be someone out here and I'm going to cry. So we're at a fishing camp. Yeah, that's quite good. Maybe there might be some food around here. Let's have a look what's behind. We go into this door. Oh shit. There just doesn't seem to be anything in these places. I say it just sucks that we don't seem to have... Or oh, maybe we'll find a torch along the way. It'd be nice to have like a little light, at least in the forest you have a lighter which you can walk around and use to see in the uh, dark places that we go. God knows what's going to happen when it gets dark. <laughs> I'm just going to have to hope that I die. Alright. Oh, there seems to actually be something there. No, we can't seem to take that. that sucks. Alright, um... Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Just need to be anything there whatsoever. That sucks. And behind door number three, third time lucky, eh? Or fourth time lucky, considering we've actually been. It doesn't seem to be, uh. Just doesn't seem to be anything about. It's not good. So many little houses all over the. Oh god. Oh god. I heard something there, and I think that was some kind of wolf or something. He's watching me. Hmm. Now I've heard that, it's put me on edge a little bit. This is, uh. intriguing. I just. Maybe I'm a complete noob, but. There doesn't seem to be anything around us at the moment in time. I guess we just follow the road and. I'm starting to hear noises now, which I don't like. It generally means something's about to go down. And there seems to be a load of... I'm not sure what that's all over there. These little wooden cabins don't even see my... don't even want to waste my time getting over to them anymore. They seem to suck balls. I was hoping by now we'd be all ramboed up, we'd had a gun, and... we'd kill some mods, but we've found nothing whatsoever. And we've got another car coming out, which is quite good. I guess. I don't know if it is a good thing, you know. There's just a car, like, lying around here, so... It might not be a good thing, to be honest. <laughs> Why is it just lying around here? That's the question. Seems to be a paper now. It'd be interesting if we can read that. I've right, got some more beef jerky. Let's see it. Let's see if that... If put my calories up, which I guess is a good thing. Nice. Can we turn the radio on? No. Alright. Interesting. There seems to be a paper. I don't know if I can actually take this paper. Can be used as tinder. I think that's to do with a fire. I have a feeling tinder. It'd be interesting if we can. Uh, we need some tools. There we go. If we can actually take the fuel. So no, maybe we need something to do that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting. Something's gonna. Something's gonna go down, and I'm not too sure what. I don't know what they. Oh, they over there. It looks like uh, some kind of like space God drop pods. Freezing. It's goddamn freezing. Somehow my condition is still 100%, even though we are freezing. Hmm. What to say? I was hoping we would. I, I hoping we would have found something, but we have found. Nothing of yet. I'm really interested to know what those are down there. In fact, we haven't seen anything yet as well. It makes me really worry. I did hear a wolf earlier. And that's what I think it's all the like uh, animals and stuff you have to go against. So there might be some big ass like bears and 
Shit, there's actually a deer down there. I think you could, from what I was reading in the reviews, you can actually kill the deers and eat them. But we have no weapons at the moment in time. I don't think it's a deer, it might be a... An ant I want to say antelope, but that sounds wrong. Alright, we're on log sort. Maybe that means we can find something around here? I just don't like how dark it is in these places, I really don't. Be nice to actually find something. So now I'm going to go into one of these rooms and there's going to be someone here which is going to scare the fucking crap out of me. Oh, we have a cabinet, searching. Alright, we're finding me actually. Oh, ah, there we go, some dog food. Can we eat? Well, it's better than starving, as he says. <laughs> Alright, well actually it's cool how we can search this stuff. I just don't like how dark it is. It'd be nice if we were able to actually, um... Water ball, nice. It'd be nice if we had some kind of light or torch that we could actually search things with, but I guess it comes down to the fact that we might find that along the way, but... Cool that we're actually able to search for us. Small bottle of, uh, we've got some uh, lantern for you all, that's good. I don't think we have a lantern, but we've got some fuel. We found some stuff, we've only found something. Water bottle, nice. I think taking all this stuff as well makes makes me heavier, or makes my bag heavy, which probably means I'm going to use more calories when going around. But Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah. Hope no one needs this anymore. It doesn't seem like there's actually anyone around here anymore, to be honest, mate. I just really don't like how dark it is. Oh, I don't know if I'm just being an absolute noob or what. Looks like we can actually search the place. Come on, there's got to be someone in the fridge. Come on, baby. No, nope. well, that sucks. Oh, we have some lantern fuel there somewhere. It's just so dark. Actually, saying that, if we, if we, uh, we get a lantern then. If we get a lantern then we're actually able to see, but. I don't know, it's just so dark I can't actually even find my way out of here anymore. Alright, let's have a look. We got the only option really is to have a flare. Um use the flare, but I don't really want to use the flare. Should we just use it? See what happens. Fuck it. What have we got to lose? Oh, what's going on? Has he got it? There we go, that's more like it. Lovely, we can finally see now. Out of fucking time. Looks like this has been here a while. Can we crouch? Ah, uh, here we go! Ah, life's so much easier now. We've got some peaches. We need to find a, um... Before this runs, runs out, we just need to find a, uh... Need to find a... God damn, um, ah, first aid, lovely jubbly. Is there anything in there? No, I don't. <laughs> we, we, hey? Select how much water to take. Seems like we can actually take water out of the, uh, toilet. Doesn't sound too good, but desperate times yeah, cause for desperate measures, I guess. Really need to find a, um, a lamp of some, or a, uh, hear noises, I don't like not hear noises. Really need to find a um a lamp. Is it a lamp? A lantern, that's it, a lantern. Let's see what's upstairs. I'm waiting to find something and I know I'm gonna be absolutely creeped out because I'm not expecting expecting to see something and I'm gonna see something I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh come on, there's gotta be something about Oh a scarf, that should keep me warm, that's pretty cool. Nice. Just jump in their bed, this is my home now. Interesting if we actually see any like, AI survivors, or what will be interesting is with this game is when it, obviously it's very early stages. I don't know if there's actually any co-op at this moment in time, but it'd be interesting to see if they, when they, do, obviously they've got to add co-op to this. It'd be interesting to see how that all kind of works out. And also how big the servers will be. Uh, obviously, at the moment on the forest, there's only um, it's only up to two players. So, Let's see if it gets any bigger. Hmm. I right, see what's down here. This looks quite interesting. What is going to be down here? Anything? It's feeling warmer. 
This is my, my flare stall gun, which I'm quite surprised. Ah, here we go. There we go. Alright, can we put out my flare? Oh, I didn't mean to throw it. I might as well just keep holding my flare for this uh, moment in time until it dies out instead of using that lantern because of. Um, if I use the lantern now, then I might run out. So we may as well use, make the most out of the flare whilst we've got it. Cool, so we're actually getting somewhere now. And that's what we want. I finally, finally feel happy with life. It was, um, we weren't really getting anywhere a second ago, so it feels feels good that we're now getting somewhere. This seems to actually be all boarded up. Interesting. Alright, so what are these? These just, uh, they just seem to be little wooden things. Can I jump? No, I can't seem to jump. Interesting. It's too cold to jump. If anything, this is probably going to draw a lot of attention to myself running around with this flare, but... Whatever. It's just how I roll. Seems to be a load more houses down there. Don't know what, I don't know what these are going to be. There seem to be a load of wooden pillars. Alright. Let's, uh... Carry on going down here. Seems to be a couple more outbuildings. I want to kind of go into the forest a little bit, but I don't think I'm well enough equipped just yet. There's actually a house over there. That's where we want to go. I found my girl. We'll go all the way up there and see what's along along the route of there. That seems quite interesting. I I don't know if this is like actually ice, because why? If it was ice, we're stood on top of right now. Why would there be all these outbuildings? Because surely eventually the ice would fall through and then the buildings would be destroyed. It's getting darker now, so we're about to experience what this game's probably all about. <laughs> Which I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. Ooh. Ice fishing hole. So we so we can get a knife and an ah, I see, so we can actually fish there, that's pretty cool. So it is, yeah, they are on top of ice. Just gotta hope that this ice is pretty sturdy, eh? <laughs> Alright, hopefully we can... Oh, we've got some gloves. Nice. We're going to keep ourselves getting warmer. That's cool. They have uh, got quite a amount of items in here so far. I just want to get a weapon. Like, even, like, just say a knife or a hatchet would be cool. Some scrap metal. Nice. Oh, we can start a fire. That's pretty cool. Keep me nice and warm, I guess. I'm not really too fussed about starting a fire at the moment. We're exploring and we can survive later. Oh, there goes the flare. I was wondering when that would... Uh, Right now. All right, so we've survived for five hours and fifteen minutes. I've been playing twenty for twenty-two minutes. How about that? That's how much of a bad man I am. All right, let's make my way to the top of this mountain. I'm intrigued to know what's up here. I just want a weapon. That's what I want. And surely there's a house on top of a mountain. They gotta have weapons. There's gotta be weapons somewhere. You might be able to. Oh, there was a picture of a rifle on the loading screen. So there's gotta be some kind of form of weapons. I like the whole sunset at the moment. It looks really cool. Pretty cool. But what I want to know is like how the uh, whole hunting system works on this when you do have a weapon. Yeah, with any animal, I, oh, I think I saw one little rabbit. There's a couple. Of, oh, there's some rabbits actually over there. Uh, there's some key birds, and also we saw that deer, or antelope, I, I, yeah, I've got antelope in my head for some reason, I'm not sure why, I don't think it was a deer, because he had, his horns were too big. Or is it his horns, ears, I don't know. Jack Rabbit Island. Don't like the, don't like the sound of that. Probably wasn't the smartest thing coming to here, because I'm pretty sure wolves in general actually come to the highest point, and it seems like one of the highest points, so... This might be a real bad idea because the, the uh, crying of the wolf or the howling or whatever it's called, its mating noises, is getting louder and I have nothing to defend myself. Alright, let's see if we can get in here. If he was in here I would actually shit myself and cry. Probably die. Alright, let's see if we can get my lantern out then. Right, let's have a look. I guess we have to get equipment and... Where was it under? It would be a lantern fuel? No. It would be a storm lantern. Yes, that's what we want. Equip. Oh, here we go. Let there be the. Let there be light. Lovely. Who we got here? What a lovely family picture. What have we here? Some salty crackers. Everyone loves a bit of salty crackers. All right, we got some wood matches. 
a little cabinet. Anything in the cabinet? What's behind door number one? Nothing at this moment in time. Got some newsprint. Nice. I don't know what. Oh, I think yeah, I can burn it, can't I? I'm I'm expecting to find something. Uh, I I don't know why I'm expecting to find. Hope nobody needs like, this anymore. I just know that in one of these houses that I'm going to go into, and I'm hoping not at this one at this moment in time, that there's going to be something, someone. I I don't know. Probably some big ass troll in here. Should not be good. We're getting pretty well equipped. We're finding a lot of stuff. I don't know how big my actual bag is. But Looks like this has been here a while. We're pretty much ready for the. Uh, we're ready to survive. Can't even behind door number ten. Negative. Do you want to find a weapon? Oh, I heard someone outside then. That didn't sound good. Oh, we can actually, uh... I can actually store stuff in here. That's really cool. So it looks like we don't have to actually have to build a base. We can um, come just come back. We have our we. Yeah, I don't think you'll actually be able to build bases on this. By the, well, not at the moment anyway. It might be something they decide to add into the game later date. But by the looks of things, oh, I didn't mean to do that. By the uh, looks of things, the idea is that you can come to these houses and actually like camp here and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't know if I put stuff here. If I went to any other house, they would have the same stuff. I would prefer it not to be like that. I think it would be better that you actually just come to this one house, and that's where all your st stuff is stored. And that's probably the way it's going to be, because again, it's a survival game, so it needs to have that element to it. It needs to be challenging. Yeah. I can hear something. Cre I can hear some floorboards. Thing. Candy bar in the candy in the energy bar in the medic shell. <laughs> what the fuck? Interesting. Still no weapons though. That's what I was hoping that coming up here we would have found some weapons, but it doesn't look to be the case. What have we here? I really don't like when I can hear noises because the the thing is is I just don't know what I'm expecting to see at this moment in time. We're getting nice and warm, we got some wool socks, we're, we're pretty much kitted up. Something's gonna come and I just don't know what it is at the moment. Now, that's the scariest thing. It wouldn't be so bad if I actually knew what it was gonna be, but... I just don't know what's gonna come. It's the worry. Okay, some anesthetics, lovely joke. Oh, what was that? Was there something there? Hmm. So is that to outside, I guess, is it? I don't know, if you wanna go outside, it's gonna be all pitch black now. It's not as dark as what I thought it was going to be. Sunset's still rising. Hmm. Interesting. What to say? Oh, we leave footprints. That's pretty cool. Even though they're going the wrong way to actually how I'm walking. Oh, no, I guess. No, that would be right. I don't know. I'm confused myself. Okay. Snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. I'm dehydrated. I think we need to sort myself out. We'll go back inside. I was hoping, I was just hoping we were going to be able to find some weapons of some sorts, but it doesn't look like to be the case at this moment in time. So how long can we actually sleep for then? If we decided to go to bed, so if we increase that estimated calories, oh, it burns all my calories by sleeping. Ah, that kind of sucks. Yes. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here for now, guys. We're going to continue into the next part, and we'll see what happens. Not too much has gone down. We haven't actually bumped into any monsters yet, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, or what's going to take place. We've found some... Well, at least we've... I've kind of started to get my head around how the kind of game's starting to work a little bit, but it'd be interesting to see what sort of monsters are about. But anyway, take it easy, guys. Have a great day. Peace.